looking for the donkeys? Will Wiv get everything ready for the car boot sale? And will Hangle ever agree to give up his beloved pink teddy bear? All your questions will be answered now with Wizardora. We adore doing things in a very special way. Wizardora, nothing sure You're the one that can brighten up our day. Hello. We're having one of Hangel's huge clear-outs today. The trouble is, it's really difficult to decide what to keep and what to throw away. If in doubt, chuck it out. Does you good to get rid of clutter? Well, I like some of my clutter. So do I. You never know when you might need it. Well, just imagine if we never got rid of anything. <laughs> Be like living in a dustbin. Speaking of dustbins, has anyone seen those drawer people today? Well, I think they're still in bed, Hangel. They're lazy lumps. Well, as soon as they wake up, they can start on those compost heaps they call drawers. Well, lads, I think we've escaped clear out day. How long do you think our supplies will hold out? Well, we've got uh, 20 packets of biscuits, yeah? two packets of crisps, Whoa. three bars of chocolate, <laughs> and uh, a big pie. Oh, so we'd see. Ten minutes at the most. Hmm. Eleven if we chew slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes home. Oh, hello, Stan. Ah, Wizardora. I was uh, wondering if I could nail this to your gate. It's an advertisement for my boot sale for the old donkeys. What would the old donkeys want with boots? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It, it's a car boot sale to raise money for the old donkeys. Uh, mind you, if the donkeys want to come along, I wouldn't stop them. <laughs> Quite. Well, yes, of course you can put your poster up. What are you selling? Oh, anything people want to get rid of. We well, could take that old bag for a start. Oh, Hangle. Eh? Actually, Stan, we do have an old cloak hanger with 600 moans on the clock and one very careful owner. <laughs> very funny. That's all right, there's no hurry. I'll see if Tatty's got anything and I'll pop back later. Bye. Yeah, I really do think it's about time those lazy draw people got up. Wakey, wakey! Did you hear that? Oh, no. Do you think he's onto us? No way! Not with those realistic dummies we put in our places. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I know these aren't the real draw people. <laughs> they look far too intelligent. <laughs> they haven't done the old dummies in drawers thing again. Well, I don't see why they should escape the clear out if we can't. Will you help me with this? Whether they're far or whether they're near, bring those draw people right back here. Got that? Let's do it. Whether they're far or whether they're near, bring those draw people right back here. <laughs> You're right. They'll never suspect a thing. <laughs> what happened? You'd do anything to escape a clear out, wouldn't you? Oh, is there a clear out? We didn't realise. But you said that's why we went into the tunnel top. Bottom! Sorry, Wizardora. Now get straight back into those drawers and start cleaning them out. And you can start with those dopey-looking dummies. Yes, I don't really want to get rid of it, but uh, you can't keep these things forever, can you? Uh, what, what, what is it? It was my entry for the pumpkin that looks most like your face contest. Swindleberry Vegetable Fair, 1989. A dormouse has made its nest in one of the nostrils, but uh, apart from that, it's in reasonably good condition. Yes, it's uh, very nice. Mm. I'd be very sorry to see it go. I, uh, well, listen, I've got to come back later to get some things from Wizardora. I'll pick it up then. <sighs> you know, I think I've got handsomer as I've got older. Oh, look, my first cape and wand. Look, it's still got a bit of magic left in it. Oh, they should fetch a few bob at Stan's boot fair. Hangle! They bring back lovely memories. I don't want to give them away. Sentimental sloppiness. Gah, correct me if I'm wrong, Hangle, but I get the feeling you're not very sentimental. A cloak hanger cannot afford to be sentimental. A cloak hanger walks through life. Alone. Uh, so, what?
What's that thing you keep in the little bag in your cupboard? What thing? That bulgy thing. Oh, <laughs> that thing. Um, but it's nothing. Um, just a few clothes pegs. I didn't think clothes pegs had little furry faces. <laughs> Or little button noses. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy Tumpkin does not have a button nose. He's got a lovely little nubby n... Oh. Hang on. You've got a teddy? No. Uh, well, actually, yes, I do. A cloak hanger can get awfully lonely in that closet. But I thought a cloak hanger walked alone. Hand in hand with his teddy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> can we see Teddy Tumpkin, my <laughs> No, you may not. Well, maybe just a little peep. Now that would fetch a few pence at Stan's boot fair. No, no, you can't take Teddy Tumpkin away from me. But, Hankel, you wanted me to get rid of the things that I'm attached to. Uh, can I leave this in here for Stan? He wants it for his boot sale. Oh, what is it? It was my entry for the pumpkin that looks most like your face contest. Swindleberry Vegetable Fair, 1989. Oh, Tatty, you don't really want to give that away, do you? Well, I've had it a long time. You see, we're all so attached to our old things, we don't really want to give them away. Hey, I've got a brilliant idea. What if you magicked another one of everything? Then we could give Stan the second one and keep our own things. Great idea, Phoebe. Now, let me think of a doubling up spell. Got it. Right, you can help me with this. Tap my nose, touch my chin, turn around to make a twin. Quick, Stan's on his way up the path now. Hide the real things. <laughs> Oh, Miss Adora, have you got anything for my boot sale? Ah, perfect timing, Stan. Look, we found all of these. What? These things here? Hmm. Well, to be perfectly honest, uh, I don't think people would be very interested in buying them. But uh, they're our most treasured possessions. Well, to you maybe, but they wouldn't be of much interest to anybody else. So you don't want them? <laughs> Not even Cheddy Chumpkin? Well, I'm sorry. But uh, if you've got any knives, forks, plates, you know, anything useful, that would be great. Mm. We'll take another look. Sorry, Stan. He wasn't even interested in my pumpkin. Well, he's right, Tatty. Things that mean a lot to us don't necessarily mean much to anyone else. <laughs> All the more reason to hang on to them. Oh, don't believe it. Now we've got twice as much rubbish to stall. <laughs> Keep your hook on, Hangle. I'll reverse the spell. But first, I want to enjoy the look on your face for a little bit longer. We <laughs> said, <laughs> 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 Friends in that kitchen full of